You know, I always used to make excuses as to why we couldn't do certain things uh, when I was a school principal, whether it had been uh, not enough money, not enough time, too many mandates or directives. And uh, it really inhibited our ability to not only change, but to really transform our culture in a way that better met the needs of our learners. You know, it really comes down to this. If it's important to you, you'll find a way. If not, you'll make an excuse. And I think whether it's professionally or personally, we are all most often hold back the yeah, but hold held back by the yeah buts. You know, Seth Godin talks about uh, this concept of a lizard brain, which really, you know, part of our brain that has us revert back to, you know, doing anything possible to keep ourselves safe. And that really, when we think about change, it is our mindset that is our number one adversary. And when we think about trying something new, doing something different, uh, or even in a sense challenging ourselves, we're often held back by that, yeah, but. Yeah, but it might not work out. Uh, Yeah, but I don't have enough time. Uh, Yeah, but my colleagues aren't going to support me. Uh, Yeah, but, you know, we don't know if it will actually work. And I think when you look at yourself, uh, both personally and professionally, there's so many times that the, the yeah buts have uh, overtaken our ability to move forward. You know, and when we think about a simple mindset shift, and there's nothing simple at all uh, about changing the way we think because it goes back to that concept of the lizard brain and the fact that our brain really is trying to keep us safe. Uh, in many cases, we are risk adverse. But, you know, it's really time to transform and change the yeah, but into the what if. And when we were a principal, we had no idea all the things that we were going to do in my former school, whether or not they were going to uh, improve what we did. But we really believed uh, initially uh, in this concept, well, what if we try things differently? Uh, Because as I've talked about in the past, we are often victims of that's the way we've always done it. And that really uh, leads into this whole concept of the the, uh, yeah, but... But, you know, when we think about, you know, we hear all of these uh, New Year's resolutions and goals and expectations, this whole concept of focusing on what if should be part of our uh, normal thinking. And it doesn't have to be a 2019 thing. Let's think about it as an everyday thing. And as we look at our professional practice, you know, what if we challenge the status quo? You know, what if we look at the curriculum and determine uh, whether or not it's meeting the needs of our kids? What if we look at how we're spending money and ask ourselves, is it really impacting learning? So by just changing the way we look at things, and I'm not saying it's easy, but it really begins, change begins with you. Don't expect others to change if you're not willing to do so yourself. Don't expect others to do what you have not or will not have, uh, do yourself. So when we think about going about our business and going about our work, we really focus on the what if. Do not let the, the yeah buts drag you down. Been down that path. And again, you know, I was comfortable. And when you're comfortable, you don't really change. So as you think about any initiative, uh, strategy, idea that you might be, eh, you know, and the yeah buts start to creep in your mind, just think about what if you take that risk? What if you pursue that innovative idea? You know, what if you help a colleague see, uh, look through a different lens to really envision what could be possible? So focus on those what ifs. Don't let the yeah buts drag you down and uh, have a great weekend and uh, until next time.